love problems because they give us the opportunity to create competitive advantage. Great companies always have something really special about the way they do business. What do customers want that they're still not getting? What are they forced to compromise about that gives you an opportunity to delight them? These ideas came from the ability to, to, to see problems and imagine solutions that had been considered unimaginable. To listen, to listen to the things customers say frustrate them. My wife Emily is a Zappos customer and she buys a dress from Zappos and it comes in the wrong size. And she's really frustrated. And she calls up and she's ready to give the customer service rep hell. And the minute the customer service rep hears the story of what happened, she immediately says, oh, Mrs. Patruk, I am so sorry. I can't believe we did that. I'm going to make you a VIP customer for life and give you free shipping for the rest of your life here at Zappos. We are so sorry. I'm going to take care of all the paperwork. I'm going to make this problem go away. This rep wasn't reading from a policy manual. She was brimming with real empathy. She lived the values and the culture of that company. But my point is that great things often start with one person. One person who may not be trying to be a role model, but is a role model by what they say, what they do, and their commitment to the business. That others pick up on that behavior and attitude. I urge you to fight the instinct to see your customers as numbers or statistics. Put faces on them. Your work will be more meaningful, and your passion and empathy for your customers will translate to everyone on your team. These opportunities for this kind of breakthrough change don't happen very often. But when they do, they're exciting, they're potentially great, they're incredibly risky and prone to fail, but they can also create enormous opportunity and enormous advantage. The future lives in your imagination. Planning is important, but real breakthroughs won't come from adding up the numbers and projecting the future. They'll come from your imagination. We think about the future in our imagination so we can decide to invest in the right things and come up with the right ideas. A few years ago, I had the experience of working in a startup airline. And the startup airline launches, the planes are empty, the marketing has failed. The board turns to me and says, Dave, will you be the interim CEO until we can hire somebody? And by the way, we have about five months left of cash and you have a big problem to fill these planes. And, and, and oh, and by the way, the job is in New York and you live in California. So I fly to New York, I meet with the top executives of the company. And I said, look, you understand the circumstances as well as I do. We have to operate the company, manage the problem day to day. Every day matters, every day matters. So every morning at 8.30 in the morning, we're gonna meet and spend 30 minutes going through our key performance indicators, or KPIs. We're gonna look at load factor, we're gonna look at cash, we're gonna look at marketing spend, we're gonna look at hits to our website, all the things that tell us whether we're starting to turn the business north. Now you also need to know that I can only be here half the time, but I will be working on the company when I'm in California. So of course they turned to me and said, so when, when you're in California, Dave, does that mean the 8.30 meeting will be 8.30 California time? And I said, no. No, we have to meet every morning here, where all the employees are, so you can get started with your day at 8.30. The meeting will be at 8.30 every day. I said, okay. I wasn't trying to make a point. I was simply trying to do the most effective thing. But the reality is, the message was not lost on those executives. They understood that I was hauling myself out of bed at five in the morning to be part of that process when I was in California. They understood that I was truly committed to turning the business around. Great things can often start with one person, one person ready to meet the challenge and step up and change things. One person who commands the respect of everyone by what they do and serves as a role model without even trying. When it's summarized by one word, 
passion. With these attitudes and these actions, unquestionably, the best is yet to come. Just remember, impossible, then improbable, then inevitable. It's a human business, legacy we want to leave behind us.